we're in the happening NoHo district of New York City, where renovated tenements house many of the up-and-coming fashionistas and artists of the day. It's our second shoot in New York for the spring issue of FQ, and this one focuses on beauty, but not your ordinary take on beauty. In terms of this particular beauty shoot, I wanted to do something a little more creative with the face. Makeup that was over the top, but that our readers could still sort of, um, you know, gain something from on a realistic level. A mask idea sort of came out of it, so that's when I started researching some visuals. We wanted to do a beauty story that would relate back to art, but it would also speak to spring. Hence why we went with a concept that had the girl actually looking like a piece of art. Being spring, it was a lot of florals and pastels and washes of colors, and also even, you know, a mixture of uh, a geisha type of look as well. Bob said, I'll have this fantastic photographer, which is Amber Gray. If you see some of her work, it's exactly what she does. Beauty is a large part of what I've been doing. I mean, I really enjoy the artifice of it. I enjoy like making a scenario more than just showing reality. So get comfortable in there. That's great. Generally, my own aesthetic tends to be a little bit dark. Whenever I see something that I like and or something comes into my mind, I usually try to record it, and then when something comes up that has a similar basis, I try to go back and find something that makes sense with what the client is interested in so that we're both inspired. For this, they, they definitely wanted something with graphical makeup. I was just kind of thinking of the idea of the makeup being presented as an art form more so than wearable. It's supposed to be more of an inspiring thing and taking an inspiration to the fullest extent, which I think uh, George, the makeup artist today, is really, really running with. What we're doing today is inspired by Yuzen uh, dyeing or Yuzen textiles, which is uh, Japanese. It's a way of dyeing kimono fabrics. It's been around since uh, uh, the 1700s, Edo period. And so we're just basically doing interpretations of um, kimono prints onto the face. It's, uh, it's fun. It is not as, as hard as it seems. It's a mix of freehand and uh, stenciling. The full face has to be done first, and then you apply the stencils. The whole process could take about uh, an hour, an hour and a half. I've been doing this for uh, 20 years. It's fun. It's a very relaxed atmosphere. I think that contributed to it being a, a successful shoot as well. It was in a smaller space, more intimate. We didn't require a big lighting setup because she was so focused within one small area that it lended itself to an easygoing attitude. And since Amber, the photographer, was easygoing and the model was very laid back and very sweet as well, that it just was a very easy day and we were able to do variations on what we wanted without any drama. I'm always open to what the photographer wants to do as long as they give me backup. So I knew that she was sort of going for that sort of bust feel and it was a floating head sort of scenario. But really all you need to do is make it clear that you need a backup, which we had. So we brought some clothes that the model did put on and we did quick setups with the clothes and then exactly as the photographer wanted to do it. That way everybody's happy, there's no stress, there's no tension. Good job, lady. I generally don't do that well with stuff where it's like really dictated to me because I, it's hard to get inspired by something that you're not interested in. Bob and everyone I've dealt with at FQ so far has been really like understanding and willing to like trust me and, and my vision where some magazines and some clients are really strong arming you into one direction and it's almost like why even hire someone if you just want them to take a picture you could have taken. The end result was, you know, absolutely beautiful, very spring, um, very sort of culture bloom, floral, uh, exactly what we were going for. The images, the colors, and the faces, the hair. It's just, you know, a totally different uh, take on beauty, and I think that's what we try to do in each issue, really change it up, step it up from the last creative that we did, so it's not, you know, the same, it's constantly changing. So much is dependent on, you know, someone respecting your work and presenting it in a, in a good light. 
because even the best picture, if it's printed poorly, can come out really shabby looking. We're back in Toronto after two huge shoots in New York, and we're right in the thick of it again. We're doing a spring dress story with tag team photographers Muishi. We're going to explore the theme of the issue further by focusing on the relationship between art and the model, hence the location, a beautiful naturally lit art gallery. The reason that we're doing this shoot today is to replace a shoot that um, we had actually uh, purchased for the magazine and on paper it looked very interesting and the concept was very strong but once we received um, the actual images we found that the lighting wasn't so great and that the, the actual fashion wasn't really um, working out as much as we'd like it to. When we got the high res images in they just weren't good enough. Based on the importance of this issue we looked and just made a decision that it was better to reshoot it. So here we are reshooting it with uh, the beautiful Tegan and uh, Grace who's here somewhere. So it's very exciting. These photographers are called Muishi. It's just sort of a mixture of both of their names, which is actually how they do the work. They mix it up, they switch who's in front of the camera, who's behind the camera. It's a constant rotating thing, and I think it's sort of a two heads are better than one scenario, and it really seems to work. Um, they're pretty new on the scene, and we like to foster young talent whenever we can. They're really talented, they're really, really yeah. good. We didn't have a lot of time to put this shoot together, but uh, they really have come true for us. Right, great to meet you guys. Wow, you have just done great work for us already, so we're really yep. looking forward to this. Really exciting, really so glad that you could do it. Oh, look at Tegan. Wow, direct from the Dior Couture runway. Beautiful, you look great. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It yeah. is so Brilliant, because that's the sculpture. Yeah, we, right. we had the we changed the concept, Amber and yeah, I, the night before. Genius. Yeah. Okay, that I think that's like the best beauty shoot we've ever done. No question. What unbelievable! Stop to finish this whole issue. Unbelievable. This issue is our most important issue. It really sets the scene for the whole year, and the caliber of everything else that's been done on this issue is so high that we couldn't afford for one shoot to drag the issue down. So this shoot has to be fantastic. It's going incredibly well, but there's a lot of pressure on the team to make sure it comes together. Cover Stories.